I'm sexy and I know. Hey guys, I'm here today to teach you a double whip. Uh, if you're still trying to get those single whips down, go back to the video where I was 9 years old and I'm explaining it. It's still the best explanation I can think of today, uh, except the only thing I would change is that you don't necessarily need to look for your pedals. You can just slam your feet together and roll away on the cranks. It just makes things easier. When you get your whips down, you're just going to automatically move on to your pedals. Uh, so, on to the double whip. Um, so, the strangest thing about a double whip is that you have to wait for two whips to come around. Uh, the best way to practice getting this motion down is by just doing two whips on the ground like this. Uh, after you get that motion down, uh, start trying the trick fly out. The first few times, don't even try to land it, just try to get the motion down in the air. So, when you're finally ready to try to land the double whip, Here's what you're going to want to do. So the biggest difference between a single whip is, and a double whip is that um, on a single whip, you want to try to keep the bike as close to you as possible and lean over the bars. But on a double whip, the first whip has to be out or to the side, and the second whip has to be treated as a single whip. Uh, lean over, bring the bike in, and slam your feet together. So uh, now let's go to a slow-mo clip of me doing a double whip and I'll take you through the steps again. I'm groovy footed so my double whips might look a little different. So here I'm giving the bike a good kick and extending my arms for the first whip to be away from me. And as the first whip comes around, you see me leaning my shoulders forward and bringing the bike closer to me to catch it. It's scary to bring the bike under you, but it's the only way you're going to land the trick consistently. So get out there and try them. Good luck.